Growing your stream in 2021 is nearly impossible. The competition is insane. The amount of streamers for the amount of viewers is almost equal. So pulling viewers from other streams to your stream is a very difficult task. All of the best advice has been repeated over and over and over again. In order to bring people to your stream, you need to make content outside of your stream that is engaging and entertaining that will bring people to your stream. This is becoming the industry standard for getting new viewers in your stream. However, there are a lot of tools that are coming out that will assist you in making your stream better than average on Twitch. For instance, Touch Portal came out and you can do all kinds of crazy stuff using a macro deck on your tablet or phone. In this video, we're going to be talking about a new tool that is for competitive gamers out there that are playing Fortnite, Call of Duty Warzone, and Apex Legends. You have Uncanny. It's an AI developed to automatically post instant replays on your live stream when you do something within the game. For instance, if you have a five kill streak in Call of Duty Warzone, you can set it up to automatically post a live instant replay to your stream just to add another advanced element to your stream. If you combine this concept with Touch Portal doing some kind of cool transition, zoom effects, and all this other stuff, you can really, really make an awesome, awesome, cool effect using this tool. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Uncanny for yourself. It's a very easy setup process. Anybody can do it. All we need to do is log into Twitch via Uncanny, grab that browser link and set that browser link up in OBS. And that is basic or the most basic way we can set up this, this tool. So let's get into it. Using the link in the description below, you can navigate your way over to Uncanny. And the first thing we need to do is just click that connect with Twitch button right there so we can log in to our Twitch using this tool. And as you can see here, you can select the game that you're gonna be playing, whether it be Fortnite, Call of Duty Warzone, or Apex Legends. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and select Call of Duty Warzone. I'm gonna set up my first component here by hitting this plus button. In this video, we're gonna be talking about setting up an instant kill replay using this tool, but you can do game triggered hype, you can do vitals and map location, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and select an instant kill replay here. I'm gonna add that in. And the settings is where we get to have some fun. In the settings, what you can do is set the module name for the name for this specific component that you've added. Um, obviously, just having an instant kill replay is probably fine enough. Um, in the next setting, you have a zoom setting, which is going to be the amount of zoom that is applied to the actual clip it doesn't allow you to adjust it at all right now so still very cool and then we have a threshold which is the amount of time in between each kill that a clip can be played so you don't obviously want replays playing 24 7 on your stream you want to have some time or a buffer time in which the clips are not showing and that's that that threshold setting here once you've adjusted all the settings, you just simply click save. And then now we're ready to export this link into our OBS window. So we're going to go ahead and copy the link that it gives you right there. And then we're going to head over to OBS. In OBS, in our sources doc, we're going to add a new source. We need to add a browser source. What we're going to do is make this our instant replay kill cam. Now what we need to do is copy or paste that link in the URL section there and go ahead and hit OK. Now we want to be able to test this live replay feature in order to make sure the sizing is right and the location of uh, the window is where we want it as well. So going back to Uncanny, we can go ahead and toggle this OBS test there and then head back to OBS and you'll notice that it is playing a replay in that browser window. What we need to do is adjust the size of this replay to our liking and then also the location of the replay as well. Um, I don't really know where I'll have this yet. I'll probably just keep it right here in the top left corner. Smooth as butter. I like the location. We're good to go. Now, if you don't want to ever move this browser again, you can actually hit this little lock so you don't accidentally move the location or anything like that. I do want to mention, guys, that this tool is free for 20 hours of Stream AI. The basic plan 
comes for 60 hours of stream AI, uh, stream AI per month with seven unique graphics, all chart features, after action and analysis, etc. So this tool is free up to a certain point. So just be aware of that when you're using this tool. And if you choose to upgrade with the monthly plan, the basic monthly plan, you get some cool effects where you can have, uh, you know, a five kill audio sound effect go off or something like that to go along with the instant replay. So just keep that in mind. The tool is free up to a certain amount of time of stream AI. So keep that in mind month to month, 20 hours of stream AI for free. If you want 60 hours of stream AI, you gotta upgrade to the basic plan, yada yada. And that's gonna complete this quick tutorial on Uncanny, a new tool that is available for everyone to use if you play the game selection that they have available. If you guys like content like this, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more streaming audio video related content. Be sure to check out those videos on Touch Portal that are linked in the description below. And with that being said, I will catch you next time. Peace.